Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the best diamonds in NBA 2K24, my team here on this tier list. I got 36 of the best diamonds in the game. There are a total of like 70 diamonds or so in the game right now. So um, I got about half of the diamonds that are available currently in my team to rank on this tier list. If there's any that I left off the list, feel free to leave a comment and let me know because I know I left a lot of diamonds and therefore a lot of pretty darn good cards still off of this list and i'll let you know where i'd put those guys but i'm trying to prevent this video from being too long also means i'm gonna have to be pretty strict because these are 36 are really the top cards in my team most of these guys are absolutely incredible uh, so that's certainly something to keep in mind as well but without further ado well i guess before we wrap up the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 17,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe but now without further ado let's hop right into it iggy is fine but not great among the very best cards which this is basically that list. Like I said, I would probably put him B tier. Because the thing about Iggy is his release is not that great and his shot creation is also not exceptional. While he is a very, very good defensive card and he's got good size, although not great, his player build is very, very solid. I think he's, a, I'm, I'm, I'm a I'm fan of the Iggy card. I just don't think he's incredible. Uh, and it leads to a card that I just, good at shooting guard but not quite insane there are certainly better options and they're going to be on this list ad kind of similarly doesn't have clamps at power forward he's got the ability to play center to high level as well he's got a pretty good release he can kind of shock create and he's a versatile all around card good defender but he doesn't have insane size at center he doesn't quite have the perimeter deep and thought i like at power forward there are a couple small flaws to complain about uh i will say i don't think the flaws are small enough that putting him in b tier is probably smart i guess i go a tier because really his biggest flaw is not having clamps and like is that that huge of a deal at this point in the year at power forward or center generally speaking not really anthony edwards probably goes c tier simply because he's not that elite of a defender and offensively while he's very good with movement wise and uh, attacking them he's a very high level his release is kind of meh not incredible um and the defensive like i said he's kind of questionable when you look at the very best cards in the game at the shooting guard position and the cards that are on this list i just am not that impressed by it kind of similarly with b roy he was a great for so long and he's still very good very good release but unfortunately stat wise and especially bad wise he's just a little bit outdated you can certainly badge him up uh, and make him still very very good and fully badged b roy's maybe even a little higher than this but i'm not that high on the card either i think c tier is actually honestly kind of fair remember i gotta be strict man these are the best of the best chad holmgren is borderline b border like i think he's c2 he and uh, b roy i don't think are that that far apart in terms of what level they would be at at their position the problem with chet is the lack of perimeter defense not the, the lack of incredible speed the lack of strength as well as another issue for chet so he also has a lot of strengths but um but, i mean he's got a nice release he's got huge huge size at the four and even at the five pretty good size but i think his weaknesses can be frustrating at times and again among the best of the best probably c tier I'm going to go Bosch in C tier as well. Nice release. Good defender. Um, good rebounder. Good power forward. Doesn't have a shot creation perimeter defense as well, I will say. He and Chad are pretty damn similar cards. They give you about the same thing on the court, uh, and I think it's honestly probably fair to put them both there. D-Rob will still go S tier. He's my second favorite center in the game right now. Um, a very, very good release. Defends his butt off. Um, has the ability to shot create just a little bit, at least with a ball handle shoe and Mike D'Antoni. And overall, I do think he's a pretty good card. I'm going to move B-Roy up, by the way, because how good his release is and the ability to get every badge. I think that helps him out. I just want to mention that real quickly. I'm I'm also putting boogie in b because i actually think he's really solid despite not being the greatest defender in the world he's a pretty darn solid defender does have off move one forcer as well as most of the key gold that is an offensively i like the card he can attack off the dribble pretty well he's got pretty darn good size at the four not awful size the five although i would say probably the four is better and the playmaking isn't bad either i like his release i think he's a pretty good card i think b tier is very fair still gonna give d book s tier even though i don't love the fact that he's not that good of a defender and also his slashing is not exceptional he's just one of the very best shot creators and shooters in the entire game um and i I think D-Book is always amazing in 2K, and uh, this year has kind of taken it to another level. His Amethyst was incredible. This Diamond is even better. S tier is 100% fair. I actually think you could 100% make the argument, and I'm actually going to, that Evan Mobley is also S tier among the Diamonds. I understand that he might be the least hyped of any card that I put in S tier today, but I am so, so high on this Evan Mobley card. I think he's really, really good all the way around. Everything except for his release is phenomenal, even the release isn't too great. It isn't too bad. I guess he can't really ball handle much either, but I think he's basically Kevin Garnett. Like, I think they give you pretty much the same thing i'll give Giannis s tier as well simply because he's a seven footer with the shot creation and defensive ability of an absolute menace i mean he does so many things so well on the court despite not being a great shooting card he can hit wide open that's about all i need him to do s tier is fair there uh did not mean to do that that is a mistake um but jr smith should be dragged and dropped into d tier not c tier there we go uh i don't like jr his release is not very i mean it's fine but it's not amazing his movement is very mid his defense is not great either 
I'm not very high on that card. I think Harden um, offensively is very a card I'm very high on the point guard position. I think defensively he is missing some stuff, including obviously that clamps badge, which is a pretty important badge. Just not the greatest all around defender across the board in my team. I, I honestly think C tier is probably fair for him. I will give Tatum B tier because he does his job quite well. He's a very solid, like do it all is shooting guard or sorry small forward. I don't think he's absolutely insane, but I think he's a pretty darn good card. A uh, really good release. Shot creation is kind of leaves a little bit to be desired, but defensively he's very very solid. I'm a fan. I think he's pretty darn good. Joel Embiid, a little slow to compete with the best centers in the game right now, and even though I do actually like him uh, as a shooter, at least kind of, because people don't really expect him to be able to shoot, but he can hit pretty darn consistently, I just don't think he's quite as good as most of the other cards in this list at this point, so I think D is probably pretty fair. Gonna go A for Drew Holiday for sure. I would almost argue S tier for Drew. Like, legitimately, I'm that high on the card. I really, really like him. I think he's super versatile, super good, absolutely incredible defender, but pretty darn good offensively, too. I'm a fan. I'm going to give Kareem to A tier because he's 7 foot 2 with the inside ability and can still shoot the ball pretty darn well. I'm a fan. I think he's very good. Kawhi goes S, 6 and 7, shooting guard, small forward, can defend all five positions pretty much. Um, on offensively, he's very, very solid as well. Has good shot creation ability, like very, very good card. KD is A tier simply because the stats and badges on the base card just aren't that great. Even fully badged, he's going to be missing a bunch of important badges, but still stat-wise pretty solid. Um, and obviously, the ability to get every badge or most badges, I should say, is still nice on KD. I like the card. I think Odom is good too. I mean, Odom is fine. His release isn't bad, and he's got he's six ten. Like he's a pretty big small forward. Uh, has enough size for power forwards. He's a pretty darn solid card, no doubt. I just don't think he's. I don't think he's worth the gauntlet reward or the gauntlet grind is basically what I'd say. So that's my opinion on Lamar. I'm gonna give Lamelo also a tier. I like his release. I think his shot creation is good. I like the D book dribble style. I really am a fan of the card for sure, but I don't think he quite deserves to be an S tier. I'm gonna go a tier for him. Gonna go S tier for uh, LeBron James. Obviously the king, absolutely incredible slasher. Um, and I got a. I keep getting told that I. Um, I'm sorry. The, like LeBron is just. He's just so so good in this game. Um, people don't love the card. I see DBG talking about LeBron like he's not very good. I, I don't get it. I love LeBron. I know his release isn't the fastest release in the game, but I think he's still the best small forward in the game by a pretty big significant chunk. So I get told by people that he's not very good. I don't get it. Um, Lonzo Ball probably be because of the defense. I actually really think he's a very good defensive point guard, one of the best in the game at 6'6". That gives a lot of value. It's not quite as good as a guy like Drew Holiday, but I do think he's a pretty good card. Lou Wall's a stud. He's the second best small forward in the game, in my opinion. He's not quite LeBron low, but he's got a really good release, and he's also an elite defender with pretty decent shot creation. Very, very good card as well. I'll go Siakam high C, or yeah, high C is fair. I like him defensively. I think he's a good card. I do. I just don't think he has incredible size and the shot creation isn't insane. The release is not amazing. Not a huge fan. I give Ewing A tier. He's not quite S, but I'm so high on the card. I actually probably would take him over Pat, uh, Kareem. I'm very, very high on him. Surprised by how much I don't mind his release either and defensively, interior wise, all that stuff. He is still very, very good. Gonna go Paul George high B tier. I mean, he's elite, elite, but I don't know if he's any more elite. Like, I guess he's B tier. I'm moving Lamar Odom down uh, to B tier, and I'm moving Paul George up to A tier. No, consume me. I'm doing it anyway. I don't love Penny. I think he's good. I don't think he's that much better than Lonzo. He's better offensively for sure, but I think B tier is actually probably pretty fair. Uh, RJ Barrett, I will also give B A tier, just like Patrick Ewing. Really, really great free card. Very, very viable at his position. I think he's basically as good as Paul George, or pretty close. Maybe not quite as good as PG, but he's relatively close with his duo. He is basically as good. Our test, I will actually give S tier, though. Um, I think outside of Jerry Butler and Kobe, he's the best shooting guard in the game, probably. Uh, I guess maybe Kawhi as well, but I think our test has an insane release. He's elite defensively, and he's not bad as a shot creator either. I'm going to give Russ, I think, D tier. I just think he's too small, and I don't like his release very much. I'm not that big of a fan. I want to put a couple more guys in D tier. Speaking of a couple more D guys in D tier, Shaq and Wilt, it kind of makes me happy to not have to put them high up anymore because I just have given up on running inside centers. I don't see the point, and Shaq and Wilt are out of my lineup permanently. Definitely D tier. Zion only escapes D tier because he actually is pretty good defensively, which is not realistic, but he is pretty good defensively. Great slasher, obviously, shooting-wise. Pretty man. He'll hit wide open, but that's about it. Halliburton is pretty terrible as well. I'm actually going to put him D tier as well because his release sucks. I know I just got three straight D tiers at the very end of this list, but 
Not a big fan of him either. And then finally, we got SGA, who does deserve an S-tier spot. I do believe he and Booker are probably your two best point guards in the game right now. Lamelo behind is a close third, but SGA's ability to get every single badge at the PG position with really, really good animations um, all the way around just makes him an absolutely phenomenal card. And I do believe this is actually a pretty fair and pretty accurate tier list for the best dive to buy team right now. But I would love to hear what y'all's thoughts are. Also, again, like I said, let me know which cards I list or I, I forgot about that I should have uh, listed and I'll let you know where I put those cards. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.